How's it going YouTube? Dan the Plastic Man here. I hope you guys are doing well. Time to start part of a review. Now why do I say part of a review? Because I figured that since this is essentially two mobile suits, I'll give each one their own do, <laughs> do justice. So, from the Gujin Gujin Rebake set, as you can tell by the title, here is Gujan in 1-100 scale. Now, <laughs> I'm going to save my final thoughts until I have both of the reviews of these things complete. So, this is going to be pretty straightforward. We'll just start with some articulation. The head is on a hinge and ball joint, and you can look, well, you can actually do a full Exorcist 360. Full Exorcist 360. Come on, here we go. You can look up, you can look down very minimally. You can get a bit of a drunk funky chicken. The shoulders, well the shoulder armor will move out and down. This will not move at all. The arms will move 200 and, I mean, at best 270 degrees below the shoulder, but at most it looks like it's really about 145. The arms will rotate below the shoulder, and then the elbow will give you a little over a 90. The wrist will rotate and wobble, and that's it for arm articulation. And this is also one of the accessories that the Gujian has with the uh, submachine gun. The torso will move left to right, that's full. You're not going to really get any kind of ab crunch motion. The skirts will come up, and you can see how far spaced out the legs are. The legs will come that far forward, and they will come this far back. The knees, you can get that, which is, by Ben's standards, that's a 90, but still. And then the feet, front to back, a little bit of... <laughs> A little bit of side to side and a little bit of just rotation. Now, I already showed you guys one of the accessories. We'll take a look at the grenade accessories. Each side skirt has one grenade molded in and one that you can actually pull out, like so. And that'll just plug into the hand like that. So you can have him trying to look like he's getting ready to throw this. Posability, as can be seen, is not the greatest. And then the final accessory, well let me show you the storage system for the machine gun as soon as I get this hand open. There it is. The gun can be stored back here on the back skirt. Flip that down, drop the gun in, oh, and drop, and just for, I don't know, purposes, there's the extending stock. And the main accessory that Gujian is known for is this huge Gundam hammer, probably modeled off Mjolnir from Thor and the Avengers. but clamp the hammer into the hand, put the hand in the wrist, and watch as the weight of this thing tries to pull the Gundam over. I mean, this is... You can hold it like... You can hold it like this, but, I mean, it is... Yeah. So, this is going to be stored on his back. Let me I'll go ahead and put the rifle back in hand. Okay. 
definitely holds this much easier. Isn't that right, Donatello? Oops. Sorry. Yeah. This thing looks like a turtle. It's got purple accents. It's Donatello to me. Sorry. Not sorry. But anyways. Just slide that hatch up. Clip in the hammer. And you have a big green blob of a 1 100th no grade. And that's going to be it. Well, actually, one more thing I need to show you guys. The stickers. One, the black ones inside the head that frame out the eyes. And then these white stickers here on the shoulder armor. So that is Gujon, a.k.a. Donatello, in all of its glory. Do I think this thing needs a master grade? Yeah, because it needs some help. So, I'm going to leave it at that. Rebake will be up next. So, if you guys like the video, leave me a like, subscribe to me, leave me some comments. And I will see you guys at the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.